name is Anne Catherine Swallow. I took the latest promo photos of Paradise Lost and I was the best publicist for Medusa. I've been a fan of Paradise Lost since Symbol of Life, so they were among the very first metal bands that I listened to. The first time I actually met Nick and the Rack was in 2017 for the promo days of Medusa. They flew into Dusseldorf, uh, we had lots of interviews scheduled for that day. And I just, I just wanted to make them feel at home and make a good impression, you know. So for some reason, I had understood that they were vegan. And uh, I, I have gone online to, to look up the best vegan restaurant in Dusseldorf. And uh, don't get me wrong, they're fantastic vegan restaurants. But the one that we ended up was not one of them. But we came there, it looked all fancy, we sat down and uh, well then I first heard that the guys are not vegan at all. Um, but they took it easy. Luckily the guys are super nice, really uncomplicated to handle. And um, anyway, we were sitting there, ordered something where I don't even know what it was. It kind of looked like fried paper, it tasted like fried paper. And I was just so embarrassed to, to have one of my favorite bands sitting there with me and being responsible for the whole day and also for picking a nice restaurant. And at the end, we just sat there and it was terrible. Um, anyway, I just remember the waiter came, picked up our plates and asked, so, so how was the food? Greg just looked up at him, smiled and said, Oh, it was warm. Thank you very much. So yeah, that was the day that I was supposed to feed Paradise Lost, but didn't. I think we stopped at McDonald's on the way back. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, uh, as I said, luckily the guys are super easy to handle and didn't take it that hard. So over the years, we kept working together. It was always nice. Luckily, I had the chance to to take the band's uh, promo photos in February, I think it was this year. It was before the whole Corona crisis started. Uh, nevertheless, it was quite complicated at the time because there were lots of storms going on, thunderstorms all over Europe. And uh, since I'm, I'm living in Germany, I had to fly into London and then take the train up to Leeds to meet up with them. And I was, I already kind of knew that my f flight was getting cancelled, but uh, luckily, actually, my flight was one of the few ones that was still going on and um, was a smooth one. But as soon as we started going down into London, it became really bumpy. I suddenly had some religious moments and I thought, okay, fuck it, just is gonna die here on your mission to shoot Paradise Lost. Luckily, we somehow made it, props to the pilot. Uh, then the next challenge was to get up to Leeds because the whole country was kind of flooded. It was really weird, but we all made it. Even Walter made it, who was coming from Finland, so he also had a very long trip behind him. But the challenge was also to to find something to do with Paradise Lost that hasn't been done a million times before. They've been around for over 30 years. They've done everything musically, visually. So I just tried to find something for the promo photos that they haven't done before. And uh, I came up with the idea of doing something with shadows inspired by 30s horror films like Nosferatu, for example. But also, I don't know if you remember the part in Bram Stoker's Dracula where you, where you see Count Dracula and behind him his shadow moving and doing something completely else than Dracula himself. So that was the main idea that I had uh, for the photos. And luckily it all went fine. We had, we had rented a nice location in Leeds, thanks to Vicky. And... Uh, I just can't stress enough how, how funny the guys are. Re very sarcastic sense of humor. Always fun to hang out with. So uh, I hope you like the pictures. And uh, I hope you like Obsidian.
that's the most important thing here. The album is out in May, so uh, make sure to check it out. It's a great mixture of all the styles they've done before, from death to doom, gothic. There's a lot of gothic influences, almost disco gothic-like, so uh, hope you enjoy it. Cheers.